I will definitely wear a new dress for my wedding. I am not going to wear your old wedding dress. What's this all of a sudden? Please don't interfere with our wedding. You're just the groom's mother. We're the bride and groom, the stars of the wedding. What's the matter with you, Hannah? I would never interfere in your wedding. Don't lie. How dare you manipulate your son behind my back? Manipulate my son? Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamed of wearing a white lace maxi dress for my wedding. But Theo won't let me buy a new dress and says I'll have to wear your old-fashioned satin dress because you want me to wear that. You've got things all wrong, Hannah. Come to think of it, Theon did ask me about my old wedding dress the other day, but I didn't tell him I wanted you to wear it. What? I just said you could redesign it if you didn't find the dress to your liking. Of course you can wear whatever dress you want for your wedding. I have no say in the matter. Why did you tell him that I could wear your dress? You manipulated your son by saying unnecessary things. Old people are always so annoying. I understand you're jealous of us getting married at a young age, but stop interfering with our wedding. Are you saying that I was annoying? Why are you surprised? You're already in your 60s, aren't you? Of course, you'd be called old. And to think it's a good idea to pass on your dress to your daughter-in-law. That's something an old person would think of. What? I've heard about you from Theon. You got married in your 30s and gave birth to Theon when you were in your 40s, right? That's why you envy me for getting married so young. You're jealous of me, who would look good in a brand new dress, right? That's why you are trying to sabotage my wedding. Hannah, let's calm down for once. I do not envy you, and I also have no negative feelings about you. I think the two of you should do whatever you want regarding the wedding. I won't be deceived by such words. You were trying to manipulate Theon from behind the scenes. Hannah? You seem to have old-fashioned ideas, so I'll advise you in advance. Do not underestimate me just because I will be your daughter-in-law. If you want to get along with me, please understand that you'll be in a lower position than me in the family, okay? Theon, what did you exactly say to Hannah about our conversation? Because of you, things got complicated between me and Hannah. What happened? Did you and Hannah have some kind of fight? I heard you're ignoring Hannah's feelings about her dress. I never told you I wanted her to wear my dress. I only told you she could redesign and wear it if she wanted. Because of you, she now hates me, thinking I was trying to force her into wearing it. What? Whatever my opinion is, it doesn't matter. You should value your wife's opinion about the wedding, understand? Whoa, whoa. What the hell are you talking about? It was Hannah's idea to wear your wedding dress, so that's why I asked you about it the other day. Hannah's idea? That's right. We found a nice vintage wedding dress on the internet, so I told her about your satin wedding dress that you kept in the closet. She says she wanted me to ask you if she could redesign and wear it. But I just got a call from Hannah saying she wanted to wear a brand new dress, but you were forcing her to wear mine. She wanted a brand new dress? Did Hannah really say that? Yes. She said it was her dream to wear a lace maxi dress since she was little. And yet, you were forcing her into wearing an old satin dress. No kidding. Again? What do you mean by again? Mom, I'm really sorry for dragging you into this. I guess I need to talk to Hannah about her wedding dress. I'll try to straighten this out, so please leave this matter to me. Wait, Theon. Tell me what you meant by again. Well, 
This kind of thing has been happening a lot lately. Hannah never tells me her true feelings, and a lot of times her opinion turns out to be completely different from what I assumed. I don't quite understand what you're saying. At first, Hannah says she wanted a dress that I thought would look good on her. So when we were looking at the dresses on the internet, I found a lovely vintage satin dress that I thought would be perfect for her. It was already sold, so I told her about your old dress and suggested we redesign it to her liking. Then why was Hannah so upset? She definitely seemed to want to wear a brand new lace dress. I think deep down she wanted me to suggest a brand new lace dress. She's mad because I didn't choose what Hannah wanted. Huh? Hannah didn't say she wanted to wear a lace dress. Not a single word. To me, she just said a vintage satin dress would be nice too. What? We'll re-talk about the dress. I'm sure she's gonna be mad at me again, saying, "Why couldn't you sense my feelings?" That's just too unreasonable. You can't understand others' feelings if they don't tell you in words. Hannah is not good at putting her feelings into words. Something similar happened when I proposed to her too. Even at the proposal. Hannah always says she didn't want an engagement ring for the proposal, saying she'd rather save money to buy a good house in the future. She also says she'd feel bad about having me pay for an expensive engagement ring, so I proposed without a ring, just as she wanted. And what did Hannah say? She snapped at me, saying, "Why didn't you get me an engagement ring?" According to her, a man should have prepared it even if their fiance was kind and reserved. What? She cried, saying it was unbelievable that I didn't buy a ring for her once-in-a-lifetime proposal. So I rushed out to buy one and proposed again, with an expensive ring, of course. What a troublesome girl! You'd have to some kind of special powers to be with her. Well, I'm pretty insensitive. Maybe she was giving me clues as to what she was thinking. That's not the point. She says she didn't want it, but actually wanted it. She says she wanted a dress that you picked, but she actually wanted to pick on her own. It's unreasonable to get mad at us for that. Oh, she was mad at you too. She was furious, telling me to stop manipulating my son. She also told me not to interfere with her wedding. She blamed me for everything about the dress. I had no idea it had come to that. Hannah should have told you her true feelings from the beginning. Why should I be the one to get the backlash? Mom, calm down. Hannah's inability to be straightforward is also a part of what makes her cute. We'll talk about the dress again. I'll call you when it's officially decided. It's been a while, Wilma. About the wedding dress, we decided to buy a brand new lace dress. I'm glad you got your wish. No, no, I'm rather sorry that I didn't get to wear yours. I never asked you to wear my dress. It's best to have the wedding the way you want it. Really? Then I have a favor to ask you regarding the wedding. Oh, what is it? Please refrain from attending the wedding. Please stay home, Wilma. May、I、ask why? Of course, that's because you're an old, frail woman. Excuse me. My ideal wedding is a sparkling, extravagant ceremony. But imagine having an old lady like you there as the groom's mother. It would ruin the atmosphere, don't you think? That's why you want me to be absent, even though I'm the groom's mother. I was hoping you would sense my intentions. But I'm afraid you aren't the kind of person who's capable of doing that. So I decided to say it clearly. Huh? Don't you think it's embarrassing to have a baby at such an old age, and to attend as a groom's mother in your sixties? Normally, you'd realize that would embarrass Theon, but you didn't mention anything, as if you were unaware of such a thing. 
why is it so embarrassing to give birth at an older age? And no matter how old the groom's mother is, I don't think Seon would be embarrassed by that. You old people are so annoying. You guys don't know what's normal nowadays. What? Think about it. Imagine having you at our wedding. I'm sure many people will laugh at Theon saying, Your mother looks more like your grandmother. Even a kind man like Theon wouldn't want to be embarrassed on such a special day, would he? Let me confirm something. Did Theon himself actually say that he didn't want me to come or that he was embarrassed to have me at his wedding? He doesn't need to say it out loud. I understand him well enough even without him telling me his feelings. He's too kind to tell you himself, so that's why I'm speaking on his behalf. An old, frail mother who tries to get me to wear her old dress. You are no more than a nuisance to us. Nuisance. Weddings aren't a place for old people. I'm never going to have a seat for a grandma-like mother-in-law. I never intended to go anyway. What? Why? I was planning to skip it even without you telling me. So no worries. Well then, please enjoy the wedding without me. Wait a minute. Do you understand what you're saying? What's with that reaction? Aren't you glad that it turned out as you wanted? I'm telling you that I'll gladly be absent. No, no, no. Why would you gladly be absent? This is where you're supposed to cry out to me saying, Don't say that! You should be begging me to let you attend. Huh? I could have clarified my position being higher than you. If you had lowered your head, I would have considered your attendance. Why can you easily give up on coming? I can't believe that you didn't intend to come at all. What a complicated scheme. I don't think I'll ever be able to understand your thinking process. You actually wanted to come to the wedding, right? It's the wedding of your son that you gave birth to in your 40s. You must want to attend the wedding of your eldest son. No, not at all. What? I don't want to go to a wedding of someone who calls me an old, frail, annoying person. So I'm not going to pay for anything. I've been saving up about 50k for my son's wedding, but I've decided to use it for my life after retirement. 50k? I know wedding fees are usually paid by the bride's parents, but just in case their financial situation made things difficult, I kept extra money in order to support my son and his future wife have a nice wedding. I was even willing to pay for the redesign fee if my future daughter-in-law was wearing my old dress. That's why I worked so hard to save up this money, but I guess this is the kind of thing that makes you think I'm annoying, so I've decided not to pay for anything at all. Oh no! I did my own research, and I found out that nowadays, one-third of couples pay for the wedding fee on their own. Even when the bride's side decides to pay, they mostly only cover 50% of the fee, and the couples pay for the rest. I think I should share this article with your parents. No, don't do that! I need to keep up with the trends so that you won't make fun of the old people. No, no, you're not an annoying old person at all. If you saved up all this money, you can financially support us with the wedding and honeymoon. Don't worry. I now know exactly what you mean. Your true feelings and your words are the opposite, right? When you say you can support us, you're actually not wanting any support. No. This time, my words truly are my feelings. Well then, have fun at the wedding. Mom, why aren't you here at the wedding venue? It's about to start. How can a mother be late for her son's wedding? It's better for you too if I don't come, right? So I'm going to be absent as you two wish. What do you mean it's better if you don't come? There's no way I would wish for you to not come. But Hannah, who understands you so well, told me so. She said it would only embarrass you if his elderly mother came to the wedding. She said you wouldn't say it out loud out of kindness, but wished for me to not come. What? I'm sorry, Theon. Your mother is insensitive, just like you. I should have sensed it beforehand, 
and informed you of my absence. But I'm what people call an old, frail, annoying person. I never noticed until Hannah told me. No way. Wait a minute. You didn't show up not because you overslept, but because you intended to be absent? And you're telling me that Hannah told you not to come? I can't believe that. I will never be embarrassed of you no matter how old you are. An old, frail, annoying person? I've got to go talk to Hannah. Wilma, please come to the wedding hall right now. Please stop Fion. He suddenly started saying that he's canceling the wedding. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. He says he shall break up with someone who makes the groom's mother miss the wedding. And he keeps on insisting that the wedding has to be canceled. No matter what I say, he won't listen to me. Fion is usually mild mannered and gentle. But when he gets angry, he gets out of control. Why are you reacting like it's someone else's problem? Please, come and stop him. I'm sure he will calm down once you come here. I now understand your real intentions. Deep inside, you don't want me to come, right? I at last have become capable of sensing your feelings. This isn't a time for jokes. I've heard a lot of things from Theon. Like saying you'll wear a dress Theon picked even when you wanted to pick your own dress. Or like saying you didn't want an engagement ring when you secretly wanted one. That's the kind of girl you are. Well, that's... So don't worry. Finally, I've become the kind of person capable of sensing other people's thoughts. But this time, it's not like that. I really want you to come. If you don't, I'll really end up being dumped. I don't want that. In other words, you really don't mind if he dumps you. It's complicated when you say things opposite from your true feelings. No, it's really not like that this time. I'm sorry for all the horrible things I've said. So please, let's just calm down. First of all, let's just think about how to get your eldest son and his fiancé's wedding back on track. I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm a self-centered old woman, so I don't care what happens to your wedding. Well then, the old woman shall stay home and be quiet, so you can take care of the rest on your own. Whether the ceremony goes on, gets postponed, or cancelled, the old woman won't have any say in the matter. Hannah and Theon's wedding ceremony was cancelled. The reason for the cancellation was the many rude texts Hannah sent me. I sent some of them to Theon, and he showed them to Hannah's parents. Hannah's parents were absolutely shocked. They immediately took Theon's side, and the wedding was immediately called off. After that, they broke up, and Hannah had to pay for the wedding expenses and some compensation for the insults to me. She is now imprisoned at her parents' house, and is re-educated by her parents. <laughs>